Hello there guys, welcome to video number two of our Game Fest Marathon of Demo playthroughs. I've had a look at a few of these. Uh, this one I've seen is a point and click. Um, it's got really good voiceover, but it just talks a lot. Uh, so yeah, you end up thinking, God, I'm bored now and you just skip. So there's a little intro that's quite pleasant. It feels like kind of like entering Alton Towers. That's what, you'll see what I mean when it starts up. He says like a little little poem and it absolutely feels like you're on your way into Alton Towers. Maybe mixed with the Crypt Keeper. A little bit of that and all. But uh, yeah, the voiceover is really good on this, but um, it's just a bit boring because it's a point and click. And point and clicks are a bit boring. <laughs> Come on. I'll let him do his little poem. All right, here we go. Right, I, I played before, which was that yesterday, and I just started recording this video, which is this today, but I messed it up, so I started again, which is why I've got two games. All right, here we are. Darksville Town was a calm and warm place, but sometimes towns change, and this was the case. One night occurred the strangest thing so far. On Darksville landed a fallen star. Well, it's enough of that. Right, that goes on for quite a while, but it's quite good. It's well done. It's a good voiceover, and it really gives you the feeling of travelling into Alton Towers. This goes on for fucking ages. Oh, I agree. Now let's see what's on the agenda of Evil tonight. Let's see. Uh, here it is, Wednesday the seventh. Sneak up on the Hamansons' daughter and cut her braid. Well, right, I'm going to skip because there's just loads of this kind of stuff. Just goes on for a bloody long time. It is over. For, there's no, no. Yep, that's Dan. I better get rid of him quickly. Who knows what a no. Come on. Right, seriously, if I'd not skipped all that stuff that we've just skipped through, we'd have been here for like 10 minutes. He just talks and talks and talks. But anyway, the basic premise of this game is it's a point and click. But, I mean, point and clicks don't really work on a controller because your hand moves around too slowly. I don't know whether it supports the mouse or not, but uh, you can click on various things and you get the option to interact with them uh, or look at them or talk to them. So we'll talk to Mr. Buttons. Hey, Mr. Buttons, want to chat? What? You're not in the mood? He's not in the mood. Let's try picking him up. What? You want to stay in the bedroom? He wants to stay in the bedroom. This happens quite a lot. You, you try to interact with something and it's totally pointless. So you spend most of your time wondering what to do. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is... No, wait a second. It's not on the wall. This isn't going to work. Oh, this is pre-Mandela effect then, because it's not Mirror Mirror, is it? It's Magic Mirror. Mirror Mirror never happened. It didn't exist. That's in another reality. If you have no idea what the Mandela effect is, then check it out. But Mirror Mirror on the Wall is not in the original film anymore. Neither is Fly My Pretties Fly from The Wizard of Oz. That's now Fly Fly, which sounds so weird. And I could talk about this subject for bloody forever. It fascinates me. I really do like it, actually. It's a very fascinating, interesting subject because it tells us that we have the ability to manipulate our reality. And some people have worked out how to do that en masse. It's very exciting. Let's have a look in the bathroom. Uh, we will talk to the bathroom door. Is anyone in there? Nope. Mm, seems that it's empty. Good job you don't need the toilet. The door is locked. Luckily for me, I'm not in a hurry to use the bathroom. And there we go. So yeah, it's, uh, I, I didn't manage to find anything that is of any interest. It's the ultimate guide to giving toasts. It's a really long book, but it gives good advice. My toasts are so much better now. We can go downstairs and we can uh, stand outside the kitchen door. We can pet this, well we can't pet the fish because it's in a tank, but we can look at it and we can look at these drawers. But I didn't really find anything else. This is your inventory. I haven't got anything. But all I did is walk up and down in these two rooms, clicking on stuff and not really much else happened. I, I really imagine that obviously there is, um, there's, I wonder if I can look through the key. Oh no, it just says kitchen door. It's the door that leads to my kitchen. The door is closed. I locked a giant rat inside. In these drawers, I used to store all sorts of useful gadgets and inventions. 
You get the idea. It's a point and click. It's a bit boring. Uh, I couldn't find a way out of these two rooms, but I gave up looking quite quickly because it's a bit boring. But the voice acting is pretty good. And that's important in games. If the voice acting is bad, the game is terrible. But if the voice acting is all right, then it's not bad, is it? Anyway, next. Game number three. So, uh, game first demos. Uh, right, D-leveled. I've also looked at this one. It's quite nice. Uh, right, it is uh, a little puzzle game. Uh, Master Momentum is a unique jumping game that features no jump button. Preserve your potential energy to fall to new heights as you solve these clever puzzles and manoeuvre your way to victory. It's got four uh, people have ranked it five out of five, so which is very generous. It's just a little puzzler. It gets quite tricky quite quickly. You've really got to spend a bit of time thinking about this. So I have progressed through a few of the levels. I'll do those ones again. I tell you what, I should have deleted my save, shouldn't I? Then I would have looked really clever. <laughs> But it's just a pleasant experience. It's a little bit retro with the uh, with the sound. Kind of reminds you of Pong a little bit, the way the little cubes bounce around. When I was a kid, my brother was programming BASIC on the Spectrum, and he used to write some games. And he wrote this game that he called uh, he called it Dot, and you were just this little dot that just bounced. That's all it did, it just bounced all the time, and you could move it left and right. And he had like a randomly generated um, load of dots all over the screen. And your objective was to get to the top of the screen. And you would just move left and right, bouncing on the dots. And it had less dots on the screen on each progressive level. It just randomly generated a load of dots. First level might have had 100 on it. Next one might have had 90. And it slowly went down. So it got more difficult because there's less dots to bounce on. I really love that game. Yeah, my brother wrote the entire thing. Uh, just in basic on the spectrum. But it's, this sort of reminds me of it. It's a similar kind of idea. First level is quite easy. Look. That's it, we're done. <laughs> right, so this is the idea behind the game. When the two, uh, the two little things hit each other, they bounce like that. It's like, like a Newton's cradle sort of thing. And then, there we go, that's your objective. But sometimes it's not as easy as you might think. There we go. So we've got to jump over this thing, obviously. If I landed on it, the bounces would not happen anymore. And if you if you walk into a wall like this, the, the other one can slide more, so you can line yourselves up. Oh yeah, there's buttons. Sometimes you have to press a button. <laughs> Sometimes you have to press like three buttons. But anyway, you get the idea. This is it. I'm just going to do this one and then we're going to call it a day because it's the same thing over and over again. So this time we've got to press uh, two buttons. So if we land on that little ledge, we won't have enough momentum to get up there. So we can't do that. We've got to make it all the way up to the top like that. Now we can land on that little ledge. There we go. Right, so that's the idea of this game. We're gonna we're gonna call it a day, but you get the idea. It, it, it does get really quite difficult, and you well, I wouldn't say difficult, but you have to think a little bit. You have to kind of sit and look at the level and kind of work it out before you go in there. I like that, but it is it's just it is what it is. It's a little puzzler, uh, but it's it's quite pleasant. It it I imagine as we progress a lot further, it will get very challenging, and they'll probably incorporate more things into it. But you know how these games progress, don't you? What am I doing? I'm in the wrong place. Right, so what is next? Well, that was, uh, was it called Deleveled? Game Fest, here we are. It was, wasn't it? Deleveled. Oh, look, we got Destroy All Humans. So this is a game that everybody knows. Uh, it's going to be released in a couple of days. Uh, you do get like an uh, evil clown costume and also a couple of other ones if you buy it on pre-order. But you've got to quick, because you've only got a couple of days before it comes out. But it's basically just a remake of the old Destroy All Humans, which I did play, but only a little bit. I can't really remember anything. I can remember that I could make cars float and stuff like that. I can't remember much else, but I reckon this is going to be quite popular, you know. It's not on Game Pass or anything, so you've got to pay for it, but I reckon this will be a popular game. It'll be nostalgic for a lot of people that played the original one when they were kids. Well, it's not that long ago, is it? How old was the original one? I can't, I can't imagine it's that long ago. Sorry. 
So we're basically really just looking at the nice new graphics on this, aren't we? It's all going to be about the eye candy because we know what this is. You're an alien and you have to kill people. And that's kind of the idea behind this. So we won't be spending much time in here. We'll just have a little bit of a play. We'll see how it feels, how, how the controls are. Make sure it feels nice and it ain't clunky. Press any button to initiate the invasion. Can I choose where to invade? That'd be good, wouldn't it? It's all a little bit like Mars Attacks. Which is a good thing. That's a really good thing. Humans of planet Earth, be advised. While the experience has been upgraded, the content and historical record of the original invasion of the Forons remains a near-identical clone. The story, worlds and images contained within may be shocking. I always read too slow. Always read too slow. Let's watch the intro, shall we? Hello, friends. Hello. We stepped into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets. Yes, I have. These beings might exist out there. Hands extended in friendship. Probably not. The moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space. What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? Destroy all humans, one giant step on mankind. That's quite nice, isn't it? It's quite a good tagline. All systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby, show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait, stop the countdown. Oh dear. It'll be Anton Deck. <laughs> oh, let's get ready on the controls, then, in case I have to do something. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him. Crypto 136 to a hostile planet and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. <sighs> Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth. 
I'm going to be giving this game a little bit of time because it's blatantly the best one on the list. <laughs> Right, Turnip Seed Farm, Collectibles and Challenges, new mission, 0 of 25, start mission. So I've only got this, this all I can do, so I'll go in there. I can't wait until we have no load screens. I was thinking myself that all of the little uh, hints and tips come on a load screen and now people have started talking about that. But I'm happy to give up the hints and tips and have no load screens, that's fine by me. They'll just have to incorporate them into a game another way, won't they? Auto box to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence? Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! And Crypto! Do you verify your suit is working under Earth's atmospheric conditions? Get a move on! We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains! <laughs> no. Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. Again with the moo? I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. They eat with their mouths? Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have, I don't have time for this. We 
Great neurons have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis, Crypto. Target an object or creature, then lift it into the sky. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Slam them into the ground. Curse these creatures. Seems a little bit cruel. But never mind. Oh, I've picked something else up. Uh, drown a cow in the lake. You didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner. Wait a minute. That ain't steak. That's... Holy mother... Martha, give me the shotgun! This looks like a job for the Zapomatic. Fry that farmer! <laughs> Extract and collect the brainstem from what's left of the agricultural engineer. You can consume the brainstem and collect the fuel on DNA. Come on back, you gotta see this! They got a talking horse on the TV! I ain't never seen nothing like... Ah! Little green spacemen! Ah! I'm not green, I'm blue. I am not green. Too fucking right. Right, shields. As long as shields have energy, they protect you from harm. Okay. When you get hit or touched, shields deplete. If not damaged further, the shield slowly recharges. Good. If the shield turns red, you're fucked. Good. Collecting brain stems reduces the shield recharge delay. Be merciless. Let none survive. All right there. Can't remember what collects the brain stem. Or this. My brains are coming out! Well, you can collect the, you can do the brain while they're still alive, so that's good. We'll do that then. That sounds much more fun. Where are they? Oh, there's the, there's the thing. I'll sneak round the back and suck a brain out of somebody. Hey, dudes. Oh my lord! Let's It's kind of exactly what you expect it to be. It's quite nice. It's nice and flowy and fluid. Obviously, it's going to have a little bit of humour in it, isn't it? Evening, Ms. Turnipseed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Little green spaceman! What is oh, that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big old... Crypto! That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space-time continuum. Oh, the furonity. Vaporize them, crypto. We've got jetpack. Pretty handy. Oh, I've run out of fuel. It doesn't last very long. <laughs> What's going on there? Crypto, my radar shows more humans approaching. Hurry to the saucer! Got the farmer's wife using. Oh! He's using a chicken! Everything in your path! It's, where is she and where is the chicken? I thought, have I killed her already? Anyway, you get the general idea. I think we can call it a day on this one. We know exactly what it's about. It's nice. It's it's quite a kind of flowy. It's going to have, uh, I imagine it's going to have quite a lot of humour in it. And uh, it's going to be fun to do. Oh, here's some chickens. Where did the farmer's wife go then? Or did I actually kill her? I think I did. Hang on a minute. What, what's this thing here? Oh, a furon probe. Find downed furon probes to uh, gain extra DNA and unlock the 
furonigami art. Right, so furonigami art is something. Look at the chicken running. And its little purple blob. It should be laying eggs. That would be so good. They really should have done that. What you've got in here, it should be panicking and laying eggs until the whole thing fills up with eggs and then you can lob it at something and all the eggs would explode. They missed a the trick there. That would have been pretty good, wouldn't it? Laying eggs. See that chicken? And there's, a, there's another one of those things over there that I've got to collect. But you get the idea, so we'll call it down this one and we'll move on to the next. Yeah, that one comes out pretty soon. I, mean, I just played that probably more than I played the original. So I did say I had a quick look at the original, but I just threw a few cars around and then that was it. But um, it's, it's going to be the same thing, isn't it? It's just a remake. It's going to be pretty much exactly the same as the old one. Uh, oh no, this game's coming soon. So yeah, there you go. It's, it's the next game to be released on the coming soon. All right, so destroy all humans. Next we have dungeons and gravestone. I haven't looked at this one yet. Uh, it kind of looks a little bit like Minecraft, don't it? Which I also do not play, but um, that's what it looks like. Obviously, that's what's inspired it. If, uh, if while I'm going through these, I'm not going to give any of them much time, but if you think we really want a bit more of an in-depth look at one of them, then uh, say so. And if a few people are saying the same thing, I might actually dig into a game a little bit deeper and kind of, you know, explore a little bit more about the game, kind of, you know, get into the details of the way your character progresses, a bit more of the story. Permission needed. Right. I, I hate how they say this. Go on, then. That looks a bit shit, don't it? If I was having a logo designed for my company, I wouldn't have picked that one. Enter the world. Please tell me your name. My name is number one. Number 11. That, uh, there is a word that cannot be used. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right. I don't like this already. Why didn't you do the K? Why didn't you do the K? At least it's a QWERTY keyboard, so I know where the letters are. I bloody hate it when it's A to Z. I can't find anything. I know it's in order of the alphabet, so we really should know that. But, but it's just, your brain is so QWERTY, isn't it? For those people that don't know where the QWERTY keyboard came from, when they first invented typewriters, right, they put all of the keys that you'd need the most underneath your fingers, like the vowels, for instance, the, uh, the keys that are used the most. And then all the keys you don't put, the, you don't press much. They put them in difficult to reach places. So the idea was you'd be able to type more quickly. But the mechanical typewriter couldn't keep up with people typing. So they came up with the QWERTY keyboard to move those keys around to a place where it would slow people down. That's the idea behind the QWERTY keyboard. But we got used to it and it became the norm. Now, obviously, it doesn't matter how fast you're, t you're typing, a digital computer would be able to keep up with you. So over the years, quite a few people have tried to uh, develop keyboards, which were like the original one, where the keys you use the most are directly under your fingers. And if you were to learn to type on those keyboards, you'd be way faster than anyone on QWERTY. But because we've learned the QWERTY and we don't want to unlearn it and learn the other way, it's just stuck. But isn't that absolutely insane? that the keyboard is designed specifically to slow down your typing speed and it's become the industry standard. It's absolutely insane, but yeah, that's where it comes from. Mechanic mechanical typewriters just got jammed up from people typing too quickly. So they've come up with a new, uh, a new keyboard layout to, to slow it down. But over the years, I've often thought, I'd like to refigure my keyboard to the way that works the fastest and then just learn it and use it for myself. But then, then you don't. You think, oh, if I bought another computer, I'll go back to QWERTY again. I can type really fast on a QWERTY keyboard anyway, so it's not, not really a big deal for me. But if the keyboard was the way it should be, with all of the most commonly used uh, um, letters underneath your fingers, like the vowels, then, uh, then obviously I'd be able to type a lot faster than I currently can. It's insane. It boggles my mind that we do that. We do it with various things, don't we? We invent a bit of technology, we get used to it, and uh, it's actually to our detriment. But yeah, it's really interesting. So if you didn't know, there you go. There's my fact of the day. What are we playing? I forgot. Oh, dungeon something, isn't it? 
cat. <laughs> yes. Wake me up. Oh no, wake up. I'm awake. Cat. I am here. Genesis Town. Oh, resurrected one. Seen many like you come to this town. What are you searching for exactly? I'm searching for a good game amongst these demos, and I don't think you're going to be it. <laughs> don't know, you say? Nothing to find in this withered place? Maybe you should try the dungeon entrance in the north. Ooh, ooh. I, I bounce along like a chicken. Is that, does that thing attack me? <laughs> we die and revive in this town each time, but lose all of the items, so it's crucial to come back alive. Pew, 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 pew. Can I attack? I assume that is attack. Maybe you should try the dungeon in the north. I'm going to try the dungeon in the north. Oh, look at this. This little pub. Oh, I like this already. Let's go in the pub. Hello, fair maiden. Hello, dude with really pokey out eyes. I'll have a chat to the barmaid. Uh, the waitress. <laughs> you. Just how many times did you die? Don't tell me. I've seen this face all too many times. I, I haven't died yet. How cheeky. I've got a cape. I've got a cape. <laughs> well, let's have a chat to the barman. You can find requests on this notice board. They come in with bounty. Or you can come by night and have a drink. Hey, I like the, uh, the tilt shift sort of... Um... Ooh, I've gone downstairs into the cellar. There's a skeleton. Hello, skeleton. What is visible is only an illusion. What shape do you wish for, resurrected one? Oh, hello, hello. Right, man, look at this, look at this. I can be a thief, a wizard, a priest, an archer, a berserker. I can be a geezer, a monk, a dancer, a warrior, a knight. Wow, we all know what I'm going to choose. A dancer. Of course I'm sure. Not enough ruby. Oh, bastard. Oh, they all cost five ruby. I haven't got any rubies. I'm going to go in here. I feel like Mr. Ben. <laughs> you need a key. Right, there we go. Let's go back upstairs. I'll tell you what, this... This does look good, doesn't it? I might have to play Minecraft, I've never played it, but this looks good. This is inspiring me to try Minecraft. Let's have, let's have a chat to the king. Cat, God is all-knowing. All your deeds are for thought. If you say so. Are you a shop? Searching for equipment, eh? I've got hold of some good stuff. Show me then, let's have a look what you got. Does it cost money? Have I got any money? I haven't got any money. What do you do? What? Okay. Right, a necklace is HP plus. A ring is crit plus. Which one should I choose? Depends how you want to develop your character, mate. Let's have a look in the well. The wishing well. Drop 50 grams to make... 50 grams? <laughs> 50 gil? Uh, to make a wish? No. Because I haven't got it. Want to trade some stuff? I haven't got anything, mate. Can I, uh, I, I just ain't got anything at all. Can't, can't, can't buy fishing rods. Hello there, little fella. You'd be get, get yourself up for going adventure. Shall we go to that thing to the north, like it's that Tom? There's a chest, there's a chest. Uh, come on, come on. There is no gift. Ah, oh, wounded. <laughs> Want to step back into the mysterious chamber you once found? But bear in mind, you cannot bring back anything. Mysterious chamber. I'm not going in there. Hello, little wizard. Right, I, I'm impressed with this. I really am. It's, it's quite quirky. LP is level points. When you level up, you'll get some LP. The more LP, the stronger you become. Cheers, strange green man. Oops. Undo that again. I've resurrected. I kept my cape. My, my fingers look like ribs. Well, there might be, because my hands are just down by my sides. Right, that's this game then. I'll jump in this water. Does that kill me? Yes, it does. The water kills me. How do I get across to the library? I need a boat. Right, I'm going to pause in the hope that the music stops, but it didn't. Right, so we've got equipment, accessories, magic, food, other... Uh, we've got a body. Let's have, let's have a look at our body. Yeah, we got one of them. Uh, we have. Oh, let's go back in there. There were some more things. Release power. Left trigger. Holy shit! Releasing power for the first time. 
You can choose whether you like. Uh, you can choose wherever you like. After that, uh, you'll be able to choose only panels tied to the previous one. <laughs> you can shove a power release panel once. For new order, press the X button. Right, so I can I can activate one of these or release, and then from that I can branch out to the adjacent one and I can shovel them once. So you could kind of have a good look through these, thinking, um, how do I want to develop my character? And then you can sort of develop in that area. This game's been really thought about a lot, hasn't it? So look at that, inventory space plus 20. Oh, over there we've got inventory space plus 50. And over there we've got plus 15. So we develop this one or this one first. We could go to that one and that one and get loads of inventory. But they're all over the place. Look, there's some up there as well. And a really interesting way of leveling up. I'm going to shuffle it so we can see the kind of thing that might happen. So you obviously can develop your character in, in you know, quite extreme ways. I am a skeleton. Look, look at me rotating up at the top left. I am a skeleton. They are ribs, definitely. And that is a pelvis. So yeah, I, I, I don't know how big this game's gonna be, obviously, I don't matter how many hours that it would consume, but uh, I imagine that it's gonna have a little bit of a story, some dungeons, some challenges, leveling up your weapons, leveling up your character and choosing your progression, the type of character you want to be. I mean, there were so many options when we was in the uh, the little pub, wasn't there? Of different, well, let's go back down there and have a little look at them. So we've got, uh, we've got 10 different sort of uh, styles you can choose to play and they all have their own little perks and their own little little characters. Oops, missed. I feel like I'm shouting over the game though, it's a bit loud. Anyway, this dude told me to go to the north. We die and we revive. Yeah, I know, mate. Get out of the way. I didn't want to talk to you. I want to talk to him. Right, try the dungeon entrance in the north. Let's just go in quickly, go in the dungeon entrance. I've accidentally bumped into the gift thing that is empty. So uh, I assumed that was the dungeon entrance there. It's got to be, hasn't it? But this dude wouldn't let us in, would he? Hmm, cat. It really is you. Oh, maybe I didn't talk to this one. I'll talk to the other one. Hmm, you can have this body. Uh, hey, hey, I've got a new body. <laughs> Obtained body box. Open my inventory and select the body. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yes, I've got a body. You obtained a new body. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at my new body. Hero. Yeah. So I was a husk. Although, look at my stats of my husk. It was much better than my hero body. Oh, hey! Right, uh, Forza Horizon 4, pay attention to this game. Look at this menu system. I am, I am moving through the menu tabs, pressing the right shoulder button. I've got to the end. What if I want to go back to the beginning? I'll press it one more time and I get back to the beginning. So, developer of menus on Forza Horizon 4, you could do that on your menus and I wouldn't have to keep going left and right. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Right, we've also got this, which is our quest log, our monster library. Hey. A magic book and our foods with an S. Let's go in the dungeon. Cave of the Dead. Right. So, some people have had a crack at it already. I wonder if these are real people and real gamer tags. They look like they probably are, don't they? Better than Troy 2. Last week, this week, and overall. Enter the dungeon. Right, we got, we got a weekly award of these different body boxes and rubies and gems. Get in there then. <sighs> Here we go, we're in the dungeon. I'll go and get that key. Yeah, and I'll open this box. Yeah. Uh, should we try, I'll get that arrow. And I'll try and kill this thing. You're gonna, gonna hop this way? Pew, 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 pew. Ah, bollocks, he didn't die. And what, pray tell, do I have to do in the dungeon? Do I have to kill that uh, brave one lies here? I can't get out. 
Oh, okay. I was, I was thinking this was the way out because I come in that room, so I thought this was going to be the exit. It was better to return by portal. Updating record. Broken game. Broken, broken something. Right. I'm going to have to kill that thing, aren't I? I don't, I don't know whether, um, whether this is attacking. I assume it is. Oh yeah, I got it. Oh, it had a key. All right. We got a potion. I lost to a formidable enemy. Fallon died. Bloody hell. Oh, shit. We ain't got much time. Ah, quick, quick, quick. Quick. You don't get much time. You don't get much time. Oh, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. I've run out of time. Where am I? Where am I? That's why people were all dead at the beginning, because you run out of time. I received 90 gold, not gil. <laughs> Return to the town. Or re no, I didn't receive anything. That's that's revive and you have to pay. Rip. Don't know what this does. Brave one lies here. Bad luck. I lost my uh, to a foot bin. You can choose what it says. Come this far and yet lose. It was better to return by portal. I came this far. So you choose what it says when you die. There we go. You gotta be quick. You gotta be really quick. So now we respawn back in town and we have uh, nothing. We have nothing. We didn't get anything. We picked up a couple of things but we used them while we were there. Anyway, that's that game. I think it looks pretty, oh fuck, I can talk quietly now. The game was really loud, I should have turned it down. Sorry that I've been shouting for the past 10 minutes. Right, let's have a look at what the next one is then. So that was all right. I wouldn't pay for it and if it was free, I probably wouldn't buy it, uh, pay it play it either it's just not my sort of game but it was very well made so um so yeah it was quite impressive i'll give it a thumbs up i'm never going to play it again all right game fest demos what is next i'll tell you what it was actually a lot lot better than that made it look you, you do judge a book by its cover and i wouldn't have bothered i mean there's 71 of these so you're not going to download them all but it was actually a lot better than it looks based on that screen but it's got only three stars from four people on the reviews, so people ain't that impressed. I mean, the next one, I, I kind of like the look of that big blue thing. Right, uh, Enfermeral Tail, maybe, and maybe that's what it says. I mean, it looks like it's going to be a bit basic, don't it? <laughs> Let's be honest. I normally just avoid any game like this. I'm a sucker for really nice graphics. I'm looking forward to ray tracing and 4K, 60 or 120 frames a second. That excites me a lot. So yeah, I'm a bit of a sucker for all that sort of stuff. But uh, this this kind of like retro look, oh, for fuck's sake, do you have to, I've got to blur out another fucking email address now. What do you need permission for? Why? So I can look at this demo, you've got to get permission to my, access my friends list. I'm going to turn this one down. Right, okay. Bit, bit too noisy. And I'm not shouting all over another one. Begin. Start game. I haven't looked at this, by the way. So it's all, all new to me. I've got a couple of friends that absolutely love this sort of stuff. And they, they ain't even got, like, new consoles because they don't realize that this stuff exists on new consoles and they just go on and on about all the uh, the new games like a movie and all the graphics and that they're all um, you know like uh, lifeless and soulless and hollow and I just stand there thinking you're talking a load of bollocks mate you really are talking a load of bollocks <laughs> but, uh, but yeah I, I, I don't know at the time this stuff was good because it was all that they could do I, mean, I had a spectrum uh, 16k 16 kilobytes of processing power in the entire computer I mean, you, you couldn't really have, you know, an epic movie of a game, but we can now, so let's enjoy it. Welcome to this place demo. Pardon our dust. As a game, is still a work in progress. For the duration of this demo, saving is disabled. Pardon our dust and cobwebs. You've said that already. As the game is still a work in you've said that already. With that said twice, we hope you've got, f uh, we hope that you have fun. Da, 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 da. Got a chest already, go me. Two potions, some magic water. Can I jump up there? It's not even smooth, the frame rate's not very smooth, is it? It's a bit... Right. Ah, you've arrived! Yes, I have. Who said that? Someone with a really big nose. 
It would seem the time has come for another tale to unfold. I wonder how you look back on this. Probably not very fondly. Probably with a thumbs down. Horrible frame rate. I am the keeper of this place. They haven't named the place yet. <laughs> you could think of me as a caretaker of sorts. As such, it is my duty to help you channel your power. Come on in. Perhaps a demonstration is disordered. Come, I will show you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa! <laughs> Those skill gems hold but a few of the countless secrets of this place. Deep within the crystalline structures, should you come across a fire, at with which to rest, you may find them most useful. Come on, for fuck's sake, this looks shit. Follow it, follow the man. I can't move. Come on. Oh, I find these games boring as... Boring as arse. Come on, big nose man. Any who wish to enter this sacred place may, should they be willing to forfeit their power. Place your hand upon the pedestal, if you would. Where's the... Is this the pedestal? No. Where's the fucking pedestal? Is this it? A small, uncharged runestone column sits before you. Forfeit, 35 power? Yes! Let me in, let me in. More of the same bollocks. What's that? Is that a save crystal? Probably is, because saves don't work. If I go upstairs, I'll go through this door. I've had enough of this shit already. Right, I, these sort of games are just a pile of pants, they really are. If you like these sort of games, just go and buy like a SNES or something. Uh, right, right, I'm in the wrong bit. I'm sorry that my review of that game was not very good. Feel free to thumbs down this video twice. I think the ability to make games is just too easy, so a lot of people just make games that are shit. But I've said it before, I really think you should be able to, on the Xbox, you should be able to have a little button that you click on the Xbox store that said, if the game is absolute utter crap, don't bother pestering me with it, just don't show it. Right, next up, that one got uh, one person that's given it two stars. I wouldn't be giving it any stars, it was rubbish. Right, I honestly didn't give it much chance, did I? But look at it, look at it. I don't want to go back to 1984 and play a game. I want to play a game now that looks good. I want to be wowed by my uh, high definition TV. I'm not into retro. Right, flowing lights. This looks shit. Flowing Lights is an arcade puzzle shooter. Each combat is a puzzle that will challenge your reflexes and tickle your neurons. Improve with each try. Improve until perfect run. There is always a smarter way to win. Error? That's a bit weird, wouldn't it? I think I accidentally pressed the download button. It's already downloaded. I don't know if it's going to work now, then. Looks like... Uh like a lot of vector graphics, doesn't it? That's quite pleasing. Yeah, that's quite pleasing. Hello, welcome to Flowing Lights Beta Demo. Please note that the game's not ready yet, so it might be shit. Play. Demo level one. Ooh. This is very pleasing. The music's pleasing. The, the smoothness. After that fucking pixelated bullshit we've just been on, this is just pleasing. Ooh. Boost here. Right, boost. Albeit, this is nice, that sort of like angle tip. Boost to get temporary bonus of speed and momentum. Momentum helps climbing slopes. Boost here. I made it, I made it. Right, let's go over the, the little bit. Ah. Oh man, this feels good. It feels good. It does feel good. I've got to go over that, that shallow one, haven't I? Oh, it looks nice. What's this? Uh, zone 1. Destroy everything to continue. Oh, I've got to destroy that little jellyfish. I used to have a little uh, glowing nightlight when I was a kid, based on um, Casper the Ghost. It looked like that. Rank B. You have to make that noise, otherwise the game explodes when your Xbox mounts. Pew, 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 pew. I like how my bullets follow the curve of the, uh, the thing. Rank B. Ah, this one's going to shoot at me. Oh, dear. 
Right, what did that say? Something about something? Retry zone menu. Retry current, previous, or any unlocked zones. No progress, it's locked. Ooh, 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 I've got another, another fire. Oh no, I, haven't. I can just keep my finger down. Right, so fire button is A, or it's also the um, right trigger. So you've got, you got options, you've got options. Snaky pants. Hello. Rank A! Rank A, motherfucker. I struggle with this one. Come on, come on, quick, 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 kill, the, kill the thing. Yeah. Ooh, uh, shoot, 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 shoot. Ow! God, you only have to get hit once. It's not like you've got uh, a shield or any power or anything. Ooh, I'm not quite as thin as I thought I was. Ooh, kill it, kill it, kill it. This one's taking a piss. Oh, my bullets don't go far enough. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, bollocks, bollocks, it's gonna get you. Ah. Yeah. This is a pleasant experience. I mean, God, my bloody hell, that one was fast. Oh, look, we've got to get down that hole. I've got to do, I've got to do whatever level this is to get down that hole. But this one's a little bit of a bugger. Ooh. <laughs> Goodness me, I'm gonna struggle with this one. Who's backwards? Shoot him again. Yeah, got him. Oh. Ah! <laughs> do I have to go down the hole or do I have to go straight ahead? I think this is the end. Oh, bollocks. I mean, my bullets will curve around, won't they? Oh man, that's satisfying. That is satisfying. Man, is that satisfying. Right, so I'll just, I'll just shoot here and they'll probably curl around and get in. You know, they're going to curl around and get the hole. Oh, I'll do this guy the way I did the other one. Catch my bullets. I've got a feeling going down that hole could be a bad thing. I'll go around the hole. Da, 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 da. I feel like I've just completed level one. Man, there's some slugs. What's my fire button? I forgot. Oh, there it is. How can I forget the controls that I've been using all the way through? Right, they fire egg yolks at you, so be aware. Oh shit, I think the egg yolks might be dangerous. Ah, shit. Oh, I haven't said pew 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 for ages. My Xbox will explode. There's quite a few of them. So they're backing off, they're backing off. Back away, back away. Go for round, round two. I'm winning, I'm winning. Oh, there's one left and I missed him. Come on, you little bastard. Got him. Right, hang on. New weapon. Sling shotgun. B or X. Keep the button pressed. Move your ship to aim. No need to pull continuously. Release the button. Boop. Ooh. Right, let's shoot this in there. Ooh. I missed. I'll try again. No, really, really far. Good luck on playing snooker. Catch. Oh, hang on a minute. I'll start it from over here. <laughs> right, I'm going to get you this time. Mark my words. You're about to die. Yeah, you bitch. Oh, no. It's going it's to go up that slope, so I can't get that one. All right, let's, let's try and be crafty. and We'll do it from here. Do it over the over the thing and see if we would see if we can go up the wall and then get in. Go on! Oh I didn't go far enough. And this way. It's gonna have to go straight. There we go. Da, da, da. Right, so you can see what's going on. This is a really quite pleasant experience, it really is. I mean I've got a playlist uh, like a like a thing, one of these things, pin things called chill. So these are games that are quite relaxing to play. If I had this game, it'd go in there, because it is quite a relaxing game. So that's my just chilling out games, but you don't even have to think very much. But it's just, it, it is, it just looks really nice. Gets a thumbs up from me, this one does. If it goes on Game Pass, I'll download it. I'm not buying it. There, is, there isn't anything yet that I've looked at and thought, oh, I'd buy that. Right, next. 
Uh, right. Where are they? So yeah, quite interesting. Right, let's have a quick recap. What did we start on? So we started on this. Thumbs down, that was shit. That was alright, but I certainly wouldn't pay for it. This, uh, this is, ain't bad, I reckon that would be a lot of fun, but we always expected that one to be alright, didn't we? It's just the same as the original, with nicer graphics. Which is what we want, right? When they remake a game, like this, we want the graphics to be whatever is the capabilities that we can do now, which is what this game has done. That's a good thing. Thumbs up. Right, I downloaded the remake of Final Fantasy VIII, because I really liked Final Fantasy VIII, well, the remastered. When it came out originally, you were like, whoa, it's amazing. Like the FMV cut sequences where there's dancing and everything, the ballroom scene, it just blew your mind away. Your eyeballs instantly exploded when you saw that bit of game. It was amazing. It was like completely real. It was like, oh, this is like real people in my telly. It was just mind blowing at the time. Now that looks utterly shit. And when they remade the game, like they remastered it, it looks shit. It's not like they've said, Right, this was the best game, like, by miles at the time, based on the graphics technology at the time. So when we remake it, let's make it the best game by miles at the time, based on the graphics that are available today. They didn't do that. They gave it absolutely shit graphics. They just polished it a little bit with a dirty rag. And it's, it's just pants. So, yeah, I mean, I, I played it a little bit and just thought, this is a pile of shit. I'm playing a game that looks terrible. Whereas when I played it the first time, it looked amazing. That was part of the reason I loved it. The story's brilliant and everything. The characters are good and all that stuff. But also, the graphics were good the first time round. Now they're not. The, the nostalgia and the retro, that don't wash with me. That's just You're just being lazy and not doing good graphics. And then you say, yeah, this is retro. Like, we're all supposed to go, oh, goody, 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 it's retro. Right, so, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs up. Right, fractal space. Look at that, it got three and a half stars from two people. This one's got four stars from three people, so this one might be all right. I haven't looked at this. We'll read the blurb. Right, uh, live the memorable experience of a first person, I think let's pause, a first person story driven adventure and puzzle game. Use your jetpack and taser gun to think your way. Uh, yeah, yeah, like a, like a jetpack and taser gun are really good thinking devices, aren't they? Uh, your way through zero gravity puzzles in this mysterious space station. Let's give it a crack then. Looks a bit like Karushi. Well, it, it doesn't. It's not going to be anything like Karushi. It's just got squares. It looks a bit like the Borg. <laughs> Press A to continue. Right, let's try pressing other buttons and see how strict the game is. Nope, it's got to be A. This game saves data automatically. Fractal Space Demo. Welcome to the demo. The game's not ready yet, so it might be shit. Only two people made it. Is that what that said? I wasn't reading it. I was making up my own thing. Uh, right, uh, extras. Game, new game. We'll go to new game. Loading. Fractal Space. The shortest distance between now and then is a straight line between two points. Looks alright already. Looks a bit like a portal. Without a portal. Where am I? This is crazy. At least I can move. Do, 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 do. Oh, what's that thing? Is that my bed? It's not very comfortable. Are you can adjust camera settings? I'm not going to do that. Right, so, so, so far it looks completely like a portal without a portal gun, which is obviously what makes a portal a good game. Open the door. Come on then. Well, that's junk. That's not opening the door. Oh, hello. There he is. Lasers? What's going on here? There's lasers. This is your health bar. If it is empty, you are dead. Yeah, thanks. I never would have guessed. Well done. You must find the lift. The lift. Got it. It's a weird, weird uh, quite relaxed voice, isn't it? It's uh, very smooth, uh, the movements of the game, really, really smooth. But, um, I mean, we've seen games like this before, it is very much like Portal, isn't it? Without Stephen Merchant or the impressive Portal gun. Laser 2. Laser 1. And also, it's labelling the lasers and the doors, just in case you're a bit stupid. And you can't just work out, I'll push this button and that changed. You know? Oh, keep, keep 
key press the A button for activate bomb stake. Don't be afraid. Very reassuring. Press this at any time to view your health and program objectives. Find the lift. Okay. Are we up, Bustle? Ooh, what's this? Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Alright, uh, I found your lift. Uh, what's next? I like the voice. I really do like the voice. It just sounds like some bloke talking, like normally in his normal voice. It doesn't sound like he's trying to do a voiceover. I quite, I quite like it. Oh, we've got a flashlight, toggle. There we go, we've got a light then. So we're about to go into a dark zone, I imagine. One, two, slice. Try not to touch them. I'm not that stupid, you know. Oh, so it's just memory loss then. Of course, gotta find a way to open this. Come on, Liza, come on back. Anyway, that's enough of this. Well, you can see what it is, can't you? It's, it's blatantly like Portal without a Portal gun. And would you play Portal if, if they didn't have the Portal gun? Would you? Would you? Would you? If Steve Merchant weren't in it, would you play it? I would. I wouldn't pay for it though. So, another one. If it comes on game... Mm, right, this is how we're going to rank these games, okay? We have... I'd buy that. We have... If it's on Game Pass, I'll play it. And we have... I wouldn't even bother downloading it if it was free. Uh, and we also have... I feel like I've just wasted part of my life that I'm never going to get back. So, based on that... Uh, where, where were we? This one, weren't it? So this one here... Uh, if it comes on Game Pass, I would download it, I think. <laughs> I, I quite like uh, challenging, puzzly things, because you have a sense of accomplishment when, you've, uh, when you do them, don't you? And, uh, yeah, that's alright. This one here as well, if it was on Game Pass, would I download it? Uh, I probably would, actually. I'd probably put it in that chill thing, but I probably would never play it. That, I feel like I've wasted part of my life I'll never get back. This, Game Pass, yes. Pay for it, no. Destroy all humans? I Maybe. Maybe. Definitely Game Pass. Maybe pay for it. If it was cheap, if it was on like a sale, I might buy it for... If it was on like 14 99 or something, I might buy it. Uh, this I'd do for free. No. Mm, Game Pass, definitely. Uh, sale for 4 99 or less, yes. This? Nah. It's just not my type of game, but I'm sure it's great. Uh, I'm sure this game is a lot better than I, I gave it, but it's not my type of game. Nope. This, yes. Uh, this is a game that if it comes on Game Pass, I'd have it. If it was reduced in price, I'd have it. Uh, anything under $14.99, I'd say yes on that. I quite liked it. And it reminded me about uh, Tai Chi, which I used to do quite a lot and haven't done for a while. And uh, it actually, right, this game actually made me run through the Tai Chi form. Uh, and I got to level, uh, it's not a level 50, it's move 50. Uh, remembering everything, I haven't done it for years, I was really shush myself. I did Kung Fu when I was little, then I did Karate, then I did Tai Chi. And uh, yeah, it was quite nice that they talked about Tai Chi and then I had a go at it and I could remember the form. This, I felt like I, I was abused playing this game, it was disgraceful. That was a pile of shit, that was a pile of shit. This, I would definitely game pass this and I'd buy it for up to 6 99 Absolute pile of wank. I'd, I'd buy this maybe if it was 4 99 just on the off chance that a few of Carol's mates would come round that are complete and utter imbeciles when it comes to anything that is electronic and, uh, and we'd play it together because it was very, very simple and they'd understand it and, and it would be a lot of fun. So yeah, yeah, that, that's what we got so far. Hang on, did I do this line here? I wouldn't, I don't think I did, did I? I think I just jumped over a few. No, possibly. Mm. I'd buy it if it was cheap. Alright, this one's next then. Freshly frosted. This looks good. This makes me want to eat donuts. I don't know why. <laughs> Solve puzzles in the world's most adorable donut factory. Place conveyor belts to guide your donuts between haphazardly placed topping stations to deliver your line of delicious desserts. 
Oh, bring it on, bring it motherfucking on. Look at this donut. Man, oh my God, it's suddenly got really hot. And it's, I've got to go and close the window blind thing because I can't see the telly. Hang on, hang on. Need to create some shadow on the TV screen. It's too bright. Right, press A. Hang on, move the cursor uh, to the highlighted tile. There you go. Now press an old A and move the cursor. Uh, nice job. Press. There we are, I've made some donuts. Next puzzle. Right, make a path so that the donut uh, passes by the frosting station. Right. Oh, so the frosting station is this bit here, and I'll start here. So, I can't remember the controls. Was it press A? I'll go this way. Oh yeah, there we go. Job done. Uh, and how did I make it start? There we go. Oh man, that's satisfying. This is a satisfying game. I'm not going next level, I want to watch the donuts. Is it endless? <gasps> right. You must apply frosting before you apply sprinkles. Oh, you are. Let's get frosting. Let's get sprinkles. Let's, go. Let's sell the donuts to the public. Yeah. Here come the sprinkles. <laughs> right. We got donuts. We got frosting. We got sprinkles. Man. Look at them go. Look at them go. Right. Uh, you can press the right trigger button to speed up your factory. Oh, I can make phone donuts really, really fast. Right, hang on, what are we supposed to do here then? Where's the frosting? There it is. Do, 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 do. Uh, right, we've got to go all the way around here. Bloody hell. No wonder, no wonder we need to speed it up. Oh, that one's facing the wrong way. There we go. Right, go. Job done. Next puzzle. Let's make some more donuts. Right, cherries come last. Remember, frosting sprinkles, whipped cream cherries. Frosting sprinkle, whipped cream cherries. F S W C. Right, where's my? Where do I start? Uh, where where we gotta go? Frosting. Which one's frosting? Is that the? Right, hang on. Oh, frosting is the orange one. So frosting. We gotta do frosting, sprinkles, whipped cream cherries. Okay. Right. So let's go and get some frosting. Frosting! Sprinkles! Witch cream! Oh shit! There we go. Oh you can actually you can actually correct yourself if you make a mistake. There we go. I feel like I'm gonna be hypnotized. <laughs> Just look at it! Just look at it! Oh man, we're not speeding it up, we wanna watch these donuts. We're gonna savour the donuts. This one this one gets two great big thumbs up and I need to go and eat some donuts. Oh yeah! Frosting sprinkles, whipped cream, and whatever the next one was. Cherries! That is incredibly hypnotic. I could just sit looking at my telly for hours and hours. It's just the way that it's putting all the things on at the same time. I feel like I want to dance. Wow, my life has been improved. Oh, tenfold. Frosting, sprinkles, whipped cream, cherries. You can use the uh, shoulder buttons to undo or redo your actions. Why would we ever need to do that? So, uh, frosting, sprinkles, whipped cream, cherries. Let's have a think about this. Where, where's it coming from? So we've got to go this way, 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 this way. Drop off. Go, 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 you donuts. Yeah. Man, are you having as much fun as me? Are you having as much fun as me? What was the speed up button? I forgot. Oh, bollocks. It's not that. That was turning your factory off. That was stop making donuts. What was speed up? Was it B? No. What was it? Was it this? Yeah, that, that's the speed up button. There we go. Let's go to the end. Job done. Next puzzle. Right, donuts will come out of every available orifice. Each exit must receive donuts. What, hey, what? So everywhere's got to get a donut. Oh, look, look, they've got orders. 
Man, okay, we're starting to get complicated now. Right, so we have, uh, that releases donuts, that releases donuts, and so does that. That eats donuts, that eats donuts, that eats donuts. This one wants, uh, this one wants just donuts, nothing else. You want just a donut, okay? You can have your donuts, you're ready. Right, now, uh, what, does, what does the next one want? The next one wants just um, toppings. You want just toppings. You can have just, uh, just whatever the first thing's called. There's yours. Enjoy. And you've got this and this. There we go, we have completed our order. Job done. Get your donuts. Come and get your donuts. Woo! <laughs> Man, this game is amazing. Look at them go, look at them go. I'd mortgage my house to buy this game. Anyway, that's enough. We've seen what you do. We know, we know how it works. Freshly frosted, top of the list. You're up there above the Monkey Shaolin game and also the other game, Back to Belt. That's got to get five out of five off everybody that's ever even looked at it. It was brilliant. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, look at that. Six people have had their lives enhanced by the experience of playing Freshly Frosted. That was a good one. I like that one. I wouldn't pay for it, obviously. But if it was on Game Pass, I'd play it for maybe five minutes. <laughs> it made me feel good. It made me feel good inside. Yeah, feels like my... It just, it just, it's nice, okay? It's nice. You'll enjoy it. Right, this one looks like it's going to be shit. Uh, Galaside Demo. Anything that's in space is shit. Let's just be honest. Anything that's in space is usually rubbish, isn't it? I've got the, the donut song going through my head. I'm going to go and make some donuts in the kitchen, like that little machine. I'm going to walk around the kitchen like a conveyor belt, slapping toppings on donuts. Right, puny human. Warning, health and safety. Before playing, get some coffee. Press start. I like that little thing on the left, that little uh, little person in the grass skirt playing the little banjo. That's good. Uh, choose your location. Oh, it's just going to be the first one, isn't it? Because it's a demo. Play one. Oh, it's not what I expected at all. It's a sideways, scrolly, shooty, shooty. No, let's just go. Let's just kill some shit. It's really obvious what we've got to do. Button to fire your weapon. Yeah, yeah, I'd already worked that out. Oh man, it looks good. It looks good. Sometimes drop scrap when you kill them. Do you want me to collect that? <gasps> There's some scrap. scrap to pick it up. Oh. Okay. Move to the right side of the screen to warp ahead. Oh shit! Your weapon to watch the scrap the bit long. Pew! Matching four bits of the same color will clear them from your path. Okay. Okay. Well, the game just got a little bit worse now because. um Sky to scrap by pressing the B button. Get out of it. You know, right colour. Get out of it. Ooh, ah, ooh. They look like they're dead. That looks like things that... Oh, do, I, do I collect them? Oh, I do collect them. Oh, okay. Give me another bomb. Oh, I missed. Give me another bomb. Right, it was really good up until this bit. I liked the shooting things. This bit's boring. Oh, I've got a scrub. Why aren't I... Oh, there's another one there. Didn't even see that one. Clearing bits can drop power-ups of the same color. Clear this first set of bits. Bits. Activate the power-up by flying over it. Yeah, motherfucker. Power-up increases your damage and movement speed for 10 seconds. Clear the next set of bits. Oh, this game had so much potential, but they've ruined it by doing this boring bit, the, the boring bits bits. Why have they got so many different people telling me what to do? Clear the next set of bits. Okay. Orange power-ups give you bonus experience. Experience is normally gained by clearing bits. You could have come up with better name than bits. Your weapons will change and some ship's abilities are improved. Experience passively drains as you progress. If you lose enough experience, you will lose levels. 
morphing lets you overload a bid to change its color. If you chain four or more of the new color, they will clear. Fire your weapon while your scrap is touching a bit to morph that bit's color. Look past the front line of bits for matches you can make with morphing. This will improve your odds of surviving. Yawn. When you morph oh. bit. Okay, that's enough of that. Right. In the beginning, when it first loaded up, and I was like, oh, it's an old-fashioned sideways shooty space thing where I'm going to get insanely powerful weapons and shoot in all directions, and it's all going to be bright and colourful, and a load of things will come on like Galaxian style and fly around, and I'll have to kill them. That looked exciting, and then the bits came on, didn't they? And they just ruined it. It was, it was like an uninvited guest at a party that starts trying to sell you life insurance. The bits are boring. This, this entire bit with the bits is bollocks. So that gets a thumbs down because of the bits. It's like, collect this to get rid of this boring wall. Right, do, don't shoot things and be all exciting with power-ups. Just do this boring match the color bullshit. No. Keep your bits. Thumbs down. A, a game with potential ruined. I mean, it, it was like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They're thinking, what can we add to this sideways scrolling space shooty shooty game that's a lot of fun to people to play? I know what, we'll add some boring bits. No, don't add boring bits. Anyway, they've broken the mold. Idiots. Fucking idiots. What's next? All right, which one was that? It was called Boring Bits, weren't it? There it is. Right, so Gauntlet Force, Rise of the number one. So it's got one rating of four stars so far. Come on, are we up? I haven't got a fucking day. Jesus Christ. Well, this ain't working. Right, what was it called? Oh, bollocks. Let's get back in again, we'll try again. If we can't if we can't make it load like this, it was the Gauntlet one. It's obvious I've obviously already downloaded it, so I can load it in the game. Ah, there we go. It's working now. Right. So Gauntlet Force: Rise of the Machines. As an army of mechanical, stop it. As an army of mechanical minions led by Baroness Madhead is threatening the world, two heroes will rise. The only two soldiers left from the Gauntlet Force: Major B Campbell and the advanced AI Venus. Didn't tell me fucking anything, did it? You've told me three people's names in the game, but I haven't got a clue what the game's about. Rise of the Machines. Isn't that isn't that already a copyrighted tagline on Terminator? I think this one's gonna be rubbish. Do you think I'm giving him a fair chance? <laughs> or do you think I'm a little bit too uh, pre-opinionated? My God. I'll tell you what, we're not, we're not gonna wait all day for it to load. Oh, hello, what happened there? I was just thumping my button and something flashed up. I think I was kicked off Xbox Live and I've just logged back in, maybe. Not the fault of this game. The following is a work in progress and does not represent the final quality of the game. It's gonna be much better. <laughs> I like it already. I like it because it said it's going to be much better. I like that. Something's got to happen quickly, so I'm going to skip this. Come on. Ooh, it's not what I expected. Here we are, Bruce. Skip, or next? Next. That was a rough landing. I would say it was pretty smooth. Anyway, this is as close as we could get to the Baroness's Mad Hedy's fortress. From now, I don't know what happened there. From now on, we have to continue by foot. All right, skip, let's go. Hey, it's really smooth. It's well made, it's, it's very, very smooth. The buttons do what you expect them to do. A is jump. Uh, X is uh, punch the fuck out of things. It's nice and fast. It's a platformer. Ow, yeah, you get out of it, you. 
That was satisfying. I feel satisfied. It, it, it's just a platformer, but it's doing it's doing the job of a platformer quite well. It makes good noises. Everything is exactly the way you expect it to be. It doesn't have to tell me what to do. It's all what you think. Oh look, look, look. Oh, I can't I can't wall wall ride it that bit. Ah, yeah, but we got loads of stuff. Is that like a secret bit there? No. Oh, 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 I've got a gun. I've got a gun. <laughs> Oh, that was good though. I uh, I I come back to life. I can't I can't angle my gun. It's just straight in front of me. I can't kind of like rotate and shoot up. Oh, I just ran out of bullets. Oh my god, I just ran out of bullets. Oh no. Are these bullets? Is that bullets in there? Does this give me more bullets? Yes, it does. Always gonna stick. Uh, watch this dude march. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. What did she say? What did she say? She said something. Right, I'm not really a platformer guy, but if I was, then I, this is good. It really is. It's, it's really, really smooth. It's pleasant to look at. It's nicely done. The sounds that it's making uh, are kind of nice. It's not offensive on my ears in any way. But it's, I mean, it's like, it's just, it's just like a, bit, it's a basic game, isn't it? It's, it is what it is, and that's all there is to it. But, uh, are they shields? But, you know, what's impressed me is it works the way you expect it to work. Everything so far has been exactly what my hand would naturally do on the controller. That, that's not bad. Hang on. Oh, she kind of like just appears next to me out of that little thing. Can I change to her or anything? Let's just try pressing some various buttons. Right. Ooh, we've got upgrades, we've got a map, we've got status, we've got logs, we've got options. Let's try this. Uh, we've got uh, you know, things that are all locked because it's only a demo. Oh, that's the map, okay. But uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's a, it's a, at this level, it's a very easy um, little platformer, but obviously it'll get more difficult. Platformers get insanely difficult, don't they? But this is a big thumbs up. I wouldn't buy it because I'm not into platformers, but if I was, I would, because everything about it just works. It just works. The controls feel so smooth, they really do. It's nice and fast. It's like all the controls are, are where you expect them to be. It does what you expect it to do. It's just... It's just, they've just got it right. They've got it right. So yeah, well done, boys. Well done. Congratulations. But unfortunately, it's just not my genre of game. But if it's yours, then you'll enjoy that. Wouldn't pay for it, like, obviously. Right, what's next? What was that called? Uh, was it Gauntlet Force one? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? So next we have Genesis Noir. I, I think this one looks good. I haven't pre-looked at it. But it's just, I mean, it's just look at the picture. That looks good, don't it? I mean, you've got to judge these by this picture. There's too many of them for you to not do that unless someone makes like a video of them all on YouTube or something. But what fucking idiot's gonna do that? Nobody's gonna do that. Nobody's gonna wade through all of these and show you what they're like so you don't have to. You're just gonna have to judge them by the look of the box. And by the look of the box, this is one that I would download. I would look at this. Now that I've looked at it a little bit closer, I'm not so impressed. Stop, stop right there. Right, the noir adventure spanning time and space. When a love triangle begins, a love triangle, it's like, is that like a female genital area? 
Hmm, you've got a very attractive love triangle. I'd like to put my love line inside if you'd be so kind. It is, isn't it? That's a love triangle. I know it's not, but there you go. It should be. That's what we should call these part parts. When we're talking to people and we don't want to be rude, we should just say love triangle. Hmm. Your love triangle seems to have a little bit of a jungle. Maybe you should trim it a bit. Right, where are we? Cosmic beings become a bitter confrontation. You'll witness a gunshot fired by a jealous god, otherwise known as the Big Bang. Jump into the expanding universe and search for a way to destroy... Destroy, destroy... Where are we, where are we? Creation, and save your love. Done. Well, that actually made it sound a little bit more interesting than I thought. So Genesis is in like the book of Genesis, the beginning of the Bible. And it's like on the first day, God did this, etc. A cosmic adventure. Now it makes sense. Genesis Noir. A cosmic adventure. I like that font. Press A to start. Start. I'd already pressed A. That made me do things twice. Press and hold to grab. Left stick to move. It's got to load again now that it's told me that little bit of information. Whoa, that's a bit bright. <laughs> Radio waves from the Big Bang echo all across the universe and recorded in their vibration is a moment of collaboration. Well, obviously my control is broken then because it's drifting. Electrons and protons, once heated rivals, cooled enough to come together in harmony. Their union created the first elements and left a song that plays in the background of the cosmos this day. Uh, it, it, wow, it's reading my mind. <laughs> it knows I've got to the end of the sentence. This phenomena, called the cosmic background radiation, allows scientists to listen to the moment of the Big Bang and compose a timeline of the birth of the universe. Yeah, my control is blatantly bust, isn't it? Because I'm drifting down. Here we go. Welcome to the beginning of time. Where only me and a trombone existed. A uh, saxophone. That's a saxophone, not a trombone. sensitive. Bloody hell, it's very sensitive. Oh, it's my fucking stick's broken, isn't it? That's why it's sensitive. Stay still, stay still. Oh, it's drifting. Stay there, stay there, don't move. I don't know what I'm doing. Go to this giant donut. Oh, that donut game was good, wasn't it? It's really hard when you really, you've got to get it right on the right thing and my thumbstick's drifting. Come on. Now I've got to get a flat one. So the object of this game seems to be match this with that thing there. <gasps> yeah, we did it. Perhaps we've just created light. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, this is a very hard game when you control the bust. I've got to say, right, this is possibly the most original game I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Fucking hell, the controller is really annoying. It just keeps flying off to the left. I might have to find another controller. I think they're all broken. I think there's something wrong with every controller I own. But I'm kind of hoping that something happens soon, as opposed to just doing this over and over again for hours. Right, there we go, something's happened. I have stood up. Improvisations. I feel like I'm going on an epic journey. Piano and a man playing piano.
and some cars driving backwards. Why are the cars driving backwards? What's going on? There's some birds on the roof. Oh, I look through the window. Oh, there's someone in the shower. Oh, they're listening to music. They're singing in the shower. There's someone singing in the shower. There's some heavy petting. There's someone with. Hang on. Is that what it is? It is people petting. Oh no, they saw us looking, they shut the blind. We can't perv on the petters. If petters is the word. Ah, someone just killed a rat. Oh. We're moochie on down in this direction. I'm in the subway. Doopie doopie doo. Want it. Hey, where's my, where's my, uh, the frequency thing? How do I do that again? Can I do that again? Oh look, I can move, I can sort of tilt reality and then look at different stuff. So I'll tilt it in that direction and I'll go through that door, if I can. I'll get there quickly. Oh, I can't do it. Right, we'll tilt it in this direction. And we'll tilt it in this direction. See if there's anything to look at and click on. Well, that tilting thing does nothing. I really thought I'm being clever here. I've tilted the thing. Okay, I finally, finally uh, progressed. Let's move this. Right, yeah. I've got to move. Oh, I'm moving the train now to grab it and, and push it along. So oh, it stops if I don't move it. I'll grab it again. Come on, train. Let's go. We're going on a journey. Ooh, I'm in this little box now. I've got to change these points. There we go. Job done. Right, now back to the train. I'm going to go this way. My God, I have vertigo. Ooh, ah. Let's grab the train. Come on, train. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, there's a murder. Exiting the train. We'll, we'll go over here into this thing. No, that was from time ago. We don't want to go back to the same one. Hello, we're on 116th Street there. Oh, oh. And we'll listen. And we'll listen. And we'll continue on our journey. Doopy doopy doo. I have no idea what the purpose or objective of this game is. It's very strange. Yeah, we've made it to the jazz club. Push that up. Oh, hang on, hang on. What are you doing? Are you going to commit suicide or something? Don't jump out the window. Go down the, the, the thing. God, why does my cursor keep appearing in different places? Job done. That's what we need to do. We've made it to the jazz man. Where's my cursor? Be careful, watch out for trains. Look at that. Jazz. Look, it's colouring them in yellow at the bottom. And that means I'll be able to grab them and then move them. <laughs> I've collected a jazz man. Hello! Right, so now I've, I've got another person from my band who plays the cello and I'll play the saxophone. Your turn. Oh no, we play a bum no. He's a mirror of me, isn't he? That's why it didn't work for. Hey, why didn't that work? So he played, 
this one, and then this one. So I assumed I'd got to play this one, and then this one, because I thought I was a mirror, but maybe I'm not. Maybe I've got to play that one, and then that one, but that one didn't do anything. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's not it's not a mirror. It's, uh, it is um, exactly the same as in, like one, two, three, four from left to right. So now we're playing uh, Simon Says. Where's my cursor? The game has suddenly got rubbish. It was interesting, it was original, it was unique. But now it's just rubbish. Was it this one? I feel like I'm playing Julian Banjos. Put your finger in the hole. Put your finger in the hole. Put your finger in the hole. <laughs> uh, well, that's enough of this. Right. It, it was much more interesting. Oh, he's going to copy me now. Right, okay, I've had enough of that. Right, the first bit of the game was really interesting, like pulling stuff around and just weird shit going on. You didn't know where it was going and then those frequencies. It was like, what's this? What's this? This is different. I've not done this before. That's really, really unusual in the game. And then this bit happened and it was kind of like, oh, okay, so here we go. Right, you play, I play, you play, I play. And it got a bit boring, didn't it? So yeah, it, it, it would have almost got a thumbs up if that hadn't happened, but uh, I'm not interested in that. God, my controller's being rubbish. There are movies. That's the Xbox Game Pass. This is where you need to be. So yeah, really, really unusual uh, at the start of that. I think my controller's completely broken. It's doing some mad shit. What was that one, anyway? There it is. It was Genesis Noir. Right, so Haven Demo. I think this is one that might need a little bit more time. Look, it's got 17 people have given it five stars. That's really encouraging. It's blatantly going to be an RPG. Right, they escape to a lost planet to be together. An RPG adventure about love and freedom. Let's go. Yeah, I reckon this is one of the ones where a quick look is not going to be enough to get into the depth of things. They never are, are they? I mean, any RPG you play is incredibly basic at the beginning, just teaching you controls and stuff. And you have to get past that. You have to start looking at the ways you can develop your character and the way the story is unfolding and that before you can decide if it's good or not. So we probably aren't going to give this one the amount of time it, it would probably deserve and need in order for us to be able to uh, rank it uh, rank it correctly, or rate it correctly. A quick look at my, um, well, I've got about 40 gig left. Oh, that's pleasant, isn't it? That's very pleasant. Not what I expected, at all. It's kind of like a nice little watercolour sort of feel. They're not social distancing. I mean, this is nice. I'll let it continue. Yeah, I'm quite liking this style. Uh, I'm going to have to press the button in a minute if it doesn't come to some sort of conclusion. But I like the style, I like the brightness of it. It just feels fresh. It's seducing my eyeballs. Oh, that's enough of that. Skip. Skip. Press any button. Oh, wow. That looks really nice. New game. It looks really nicely polished, don't it? The menus worked well. I mean, I'm kind of like talking about stuff that should be a given. All menus on games should work well, but they don't, do they? And quite a lot of the games we've looked at so far just look so amateur, whereas this doesn't. This looks like it is uh, a properly made game that's, um, that's just nice. Yeah, I do think this is something that requires a lot more time, but it does look nice. 
Actually, it looked a lot better a couple of minutes ago than it does now. I kind of like the style. Oh, not apple mm -hmm. juice stew with apple juice. Mm. Didn't we have that yesterday or the day before? No. Yesterday it was baked apple dew with apple dews, and the day before it was fried apple dews. With apple dews. Oh, I remember now. Sorry, I'm doing what I can to switch up our meals. But in my defense, we have a pretty limited set of ingredients. Right. Hey, I wasn't complaining. I'm glad that you're doing the cooking. Otherwise, I'd be eating. I guess <laughs> apple juice. Not the most gripping of stories. Did you have a chance to look at the engine? Yeah. It does seem like it took some damage upon landing. But I should be able to fix that real quick. Awesome. Your butt's awesome. Say it again to my face. I like that. That was nice. That was a really nice little touch. Awesome. Your butt's awesome. Oh, you two, we've got a game to play. We're supposed to be doing a review. Oh, I'm going to have to flag this now for sexual content. <laughs> With the lights off? Works for me. Uh, no. I didn't do that. Ugh, we must have run out of flow. Weren't you supposed to charge up the nest today? Excuse me if I was working on the engine. I can't do everything. No worries. I'll go get some more outside. If I'm lucky, I'll stumble upon something to spice up the apple news. I'll come with you. A lot of little sort of things going on there that were quite nice. I don't know if you noticed, kind of like the blue drop shadow behind them uh, when it was that person talking that switched about. It, it, her eyebrows were changing a lot, but it just sort of worked. Man, this looks nice. So we can switch characters. All right, we've done that three times. I think once would have been enough. Walk for five seconds. Oh, it's a bit slow. Do we have sprint? Uh, glide. Hey! <laughs> Whoa! Who needs slow walking when you can glide? Man, that feels good. Let's switch over to her. Hang on, hang on. There we go. That feels nice. Hold the left... Oh, what? Hold the left stick. Oh, hold the left stick to do a U-turn. Oh, that's a bit messy. Whoa, the camera's all over the shot. Come on, get back up there. Whoa, the U-turns are not very nice. It's sort of like a little bit jarring. Come on. There we go. <laughs> that was the wrong way. Over there, a flow thread. Whoops. Try again. Yes! Just like that. I think we're, we sort of automatically flow following this. Am I auto-following it or am I just being really clever? Although it seems like one thread won't be enough. Well, that, that U-turn thing's pretty horrible, actually. Hang on. The, uh, the right stick on the camera isn't very good. It's a bit weird. How many more do you think we need? I don't know. Three? Maybe four? So I'm supposed to be collecting these uh, giant... Electric worm things. There are plenty of flow threads around here. Probably to fix my engine. Uh, hold this to drift. Well, that's quite satisfying. Drift. Can I go in the water or will it kill me? I can walk in the water. It looks so nice, doesn't it? It just looks nice. Oh, I've got to drift so many times. Come on then. Drifting is that useful? Yes. It's crucial. Too fucking right. It allows you to change direction without having to stop all the time. Drifting is perfect. You yeah, you I'll do. do it. I wonder how long people spend walking in this game before they only do this everywhere. Anyway, what we're supposed to be doing? Collecting those worms, aren't we? 
There's one. Ooh. Hang on, dude. There's a worm. We've got to collect it. The walking looks good, though, don't it? I think sometimes you do have to walk in games because it looks good. One or two more threads, and we'll be all set. I don't think you can turn as uh, as much as you want all right. to. I'm all charged up. Me too. We can go when you're ready. I'm ready. The grass looks good. Where are we supposed to be going? Oh, we can go when we're ready, but where to? I'm not sure any more worms. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Should I go back up to the uh, the house? What are these things here? Nothing. Well, that was a bust. We were too slow. No biggie. Plenty of Very, very well made game. Just looks nice. Really does. I, I don't mind the voice acting. It's very um kind of relaxed and all good. This should last us a few days. Now it's our turn to fill up. Huh? I'm hungry. It's just like pleasant, you know? There's nothing uh, aggressive about this game. Alphabet people would like it. In fact, I bet alphabet people would love this. And if you don't know what I mean by alphabet people, the, the LGBTQ, etc, 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 them people. I think they would like this. Non-binary people and binary people. And snowflakes would enjoy this game. I reckon if a snowflake played this game, even on a hot day, they probably wouldn't even melt. So yeah, it's in no way offensive. The colours are not offensive to your eyes. The voiceover is nice and relaxed. The game is nice and it's just nice. So yeah, if you are a snowflake, you probably shouldn't watch my videos, really. You really shouldn't. But if you are, and you've stumbled in here by mistake, then you should buy this game. It's right up your street. Anyway, I kind of like it. Gets a thumbs up from me. I, I imagine there's a lot more to it. We haven't given it much of a chance, have we? But it looks all right, that does. Certainly does look all right. Game Pass, yes. On sale, maybe. Full price, <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I've gone to the wrong fucking thing. Right, so yeah, if it was on Game Pass, I'd have it. If someone's on Game Pass, I'm genuinely, genuine, uh, generally going to play it. More often than not. Actually, that's not true. There's loads of stuff on Game Pass that I think is absolutely shit. And I wouldn't touch it. Right, so that was this. Next we have this. Which, how many have we done? We've done quite a few, haven't we? So how many are on a line? Seven on a line. Seven. Uh, where did we start? We started there. So ten. We've done twelve. We did eleven in the last video. So I'll shut this down now. And the next one will be this game. And then we'll, we'll try and get through roughly eleven again if we can. Let's have a look what's coming up then. That, that one's coming up, that's like the Gauntlet meets Bomberman, that should be good, but I think it's going to be only a multiplayer thing, isn't it? Oh, we might be able to get to Pixel Skater on the next video, and then on the next one we'll get to Skate Bird, the two most exciting games in here by far. So yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll squeeze this one in now so we've got a better chance of getting to Pixel Skater next time. So, Halheim Hassel. We'll see what it says. Helheim Hassel is a narrative adventure. Nope. Uh, game with puzzle platforming elements. Play as Bjorn, a pacifist Viking who can detach and combine limbs at will to solve puzzling challenges or challenging puzzles and get out of uncomfortable situations involving desperate Norse gods, goblins, dragons, and angry skeletons. Reminds me of Vicky the Viking. Only because it said the word Viking. Hey, hey, Vicky, Vicky, hey, hey, etc. Interesting premise for a game, isn't it? You can detach your limbs to get yourself out of tricky situations. That's new. 
that's not something you usually see in a game. I like it when people think outside the box. Come on, for fuck's sake, don't take all day to load. What time is it? Ooh, nearly half past five. This game saves like every other game you've ever played in your life. While it's doing it, don't turn your console off. Who are you? Create new saves. Yes, I will do that. Fresh, wimpy soul on its way to Helheim. Name? Cause of death? Actually, don't tell me, cause I don't care. I like her. I like her a lot. Yeah, yeah, come on. That was good. That was much more interesting than a normal menu screen. I like this. Tumbling loading. Here we comes, here comes uh, Filippo. Hello, mate. In the woods. Look at me hiking. I'm looking for something to kill. Never a moment of peace for a Viking with iron and that sword is real. And giants are so dumb, I almost can't believe they're real. So ugly and disgusting. What's with that? What is the scene? I like this. I like it a lot. I'm not going to skip. I'm going to watch. Check out my nipples. Check out their nipples. Ah! Red up! Red up! It's a wooden Rubik cube. Can I do anything? No. Oh, I can, I can. Uh, what is it this time? Oh, Bjorn, hey Bjorn, what are you doing, dog? Put that thing down. Then we'll come to the laptop, Philippo. Hi, Helga. Hello. Do you want to come on my lap? Battling. Giants, dog. Gosh darn. Giants. Ten meters tall. Some of them are even hurling boulders at us. Boulders. <laughs> is super exciting. I like her. The giants are throwing boulders now. I prefer her to him. I wish I was her. Ahead, Helga. I'll catch up. Okie dokers, dog. Don't be mad if I'm already dead by the time you get there. Right in the eye! <laughs> Yay! I have blood eye too! Good luck dying, guys! Oh, gosh darn it. I hate mm. battles. Uh, look at. How am I supposed to get out of this one? No, 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 Philippo. That's something you definitely shouldn't be eating. Go on down. Good boy. Right, I like the look of this. I wish I hadn't started it, so I'll give it a little bit more time, but I'm not going to give it much time, but I like the look of it. So we have a main quest, find the palace. Uh, find a place to hide. Not find the palace. Find a place to hide. I'll have a quick look in, in here. So items, we've got some money. Well, we haven't. We haven't got any money. Mm. We haven't got any of these things either. Codex. Movement. And it will teach me other things as we progress. We've got a jump. So jump. I was working on this Runix cube before everyone's. The Runix cube. <laughs> That's quite clever. How do I get out? I, I couldn't seem to walk up. I can only walk left and right. I can't walk up. Oh, hang on. Let's have a look at this. This triple hoe while everybody else was out battling. Triple the fun. Triple the hate. Oh, this is a place to hide. So that's what I was looking for, isn't it? My dumb little sword. Barely used. Hello. Hi, hon. Mom! Are you ready for the battle? I, um... You do want to get brutally murdered in battle and go to Valhalla, right? Who doesn't? Good, because remember, all awesome Vikings go to Valhalla. But if you're sick, old, or lame, you're doomed to eternity in Helheim. Yes. Hey, Filippo. Okay, hon. Ah, it's got a toilet roll. That's not for you. Put it down. Hang on a minute. Yay, that's not yours. 
These are not toys. Bathrooms are not for puppies. Go on. That woman was the spitting image of my mate's wife. Really was. Looked exactly like her. Right, come on in. Oh, I don't know what I was supposed to do because I was getting the toilet roll off Filippo. My dumb little. Can I, can I not pick it up? Used. Exit. I don't know if I missed uh, missed something there when I weren't weren't paying any attention. I don't appear to be able to move off this line. I can't go up to where they are. So I don't know what I don't know what to do. Triple the fun. Go back in here. Did I miss something in here? Oh. Control is dead. I'll tell you what guys, I'll shut it down here and I'll have a little look at this one at the beginning of the next video instead and give it a little bit more time. So the start of the next video is going to be this game again and then uh, I'll give it a bit more of a chance when I'm not having to fight for the boat to to for toilet paper and, um, and then we'll progress from there. So I'll see you in the next one. Take care, leave some comments. Tell me which of these games you thought looked good, which ones would you buy, which ones would you play if it was uh, free, which ones wouldn't you download, which ones did you find offensive so do, do you think I need to dig into any of them a little bit deeper than we did because I didn't give any of them much of a look really did I but if there's anything in here that you think oh I really wanted to see more of that then by all means leave a note in the comments and I'll probably ignore you because the chances of me going back into one of these games and playing them again is pretty bloody small let's be honest let's be honest let's just let's just tell it like it is say whatever you like I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do anyway See you later guys, take care, bye bye.